we experienced a power outage this morning. So luckily everything came back on in time and not too late, just in time. Okay, so I'm gonna change my, my clock here because that's saying the wrong time. We have a whole hour to spend together. Uh, let me just, all right, there we go. Start that clock again and see how we're doing here. I hope everybody's doing well. I am going to use our wonderful relaxing music so that I know everybody's ready. Um, and to give me just a speck more time to, to make sure everything's working right. So I hope you enjoy this lovely relaxing music. And we'll see you back here in two minutes. Get the coffee. Good morning, everyone, again. I hope everybody had a chance to get their get their favorite beverage to relax and start to uh, enjoy and have some fun with me this morning. Good morning. I am Gail Hanlon, the publisher of the Coffee News for St. Catherine's Thorold and Niagara on the Lake. And I love publishing the Coffee News because it brings smiles, to everyone's faces. I remember going into the restaurants when I uh, lived in another town that had coffee news that I'd never, never seen it before. I went to the same restaurants with my kids all the time. I have five daughters and one son. And, uh, and we would, the kids would literally grab the coffee news and fight over who was going to read which story. You don't have to do that today because I'm here to read the stories with you. You can read them at home with me if you go to stccoffeenews.com slash online. Um, and I will put that in the comments here if you don't already know. If this is your first time joining us, Hello, hello, hello. And uh, if you're watching on the replay, please mention that in the comments. Just say replay. And uh, I answer all the comments. I respond to them all. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm glad you want to spend your morning with me. Um, please let me know if you're watching by putting something in the comments. Otherwise, I don't know you're there. And if you have questions, 
or if you would like to be a guest on the show, I just put the link up on uh, on there. And uh, I want to make sure that everybody feels comfortable and relaxed and is enjoying their morning. It's a kind of crazy morning, right? It's a little overcast. Uh, okay. So I, how is your week going? I know this is hump day and a lot of people have uh, have everything heavy on them on a Wednesday. So we want to lighten that up. Um, I have my Tim's cup today. And uh, actually, I have tea this morning. Mm. And, uh, and we are actually looking forward to planning uh, on resuming printing. That's our big news um, in September. So let's hope that the numbers, I know they're bouncing up a bit, but if, uh, if we can get our, our restaurants open, and we're looking at other ways to get the coffee news to you. So right now, there are four ways to get your coffee news fix. And that is uh, visit me here, join me uh, for the show, and, uh, and listen to it and read along with me. But also, you can download the PDF files from our uh, website, which is stccoffeenews.com. Now, here's a mistake that a lot of people make purely by accident, is that they only put one C in STC. STC is for St. Catharines, of course, STC, and then Coffee News. So there are two Cs in that um, URL, and uh, that's the address of the website. So let's see. Uh, coffee news. STC. Let's make sure we have that in everywhere we need. STC. Because when we first uh, started publishing, I had no idea I was going to be doing more than St. Catharines. So we started with St. Catharines. Yes. I'm missing a T here. PC, coffee news dot com slash online if you want to read along with me. Um, okay. So that guest link is up there. And please say hello if you're uh, watching. I want to start this morning by showing you something really awesome. It's a, uh, a video that was made for the 25th um, Coffee News anniversary. So Coffee News started in 1988. So it is over 30 years old. I feel old. I didn't start it, but a lovely lady did. And her daughters still run it. If you want to see an interview with one of her daughters, I, I did with her in one of the earlier shows. Her name is uh, Leslie Dom, um, and her sister Candace Dom. They both run Coffee News now um, all over. It's their baby, and uh, their mom, Jean Dom, started it. So on the 25th anniversary of Coffee News, they made this little video, which I'm going to play for you. I'm going to put this on, and uh, then you can find out a little bit more about coffee news. So I'm going to take off the, uh, the overlay here to just make sure you can see the whole, the whole thing. And here, I'm going to take that off. All right. Now, here is a little bit of fun with coffee news. So let's get this party started. 1988, the suburb of St. Vitel, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Jean Dom came up with something. You see, she'd go for her morning coffee. While having her morning coffee, she would like something to read, as would most of us. But often she was left 
reading the back of sugar packets. Why? Well, when she read the paper, it was full of what? Right, bad news, and it would bring her down. So Jean's like, well, I've got experience. She had previously published a book on cooking, like a nice cookbook, a ballroom dancing book, and had excellent expertise in advertising. So now here we are, 25 years later, Jean's invention, the world's largest restaurant publication, Coffee News. I'm Don Poulin from Poulin Pest Control. I've been doing this for 65 years. <laughs> well, with coffee news, we said go back a long time. And one of the things that we found that was very helpful to us is that we could change our ad without having to wait for a month or so. I find that coffee news very easy, accessible to make the changes, which is very important. I feel that it's working for us. I know when I go into a restaurant or a store that they have the coffee news, I always pick it up and I see a lot of them that there's only a few pages left or that they're wrinkled and you can see somebody's read it and either try to put it back. How many readers do you think on a weekly basis would you have that come in and read coffee news. Oh wow, it's, I'm sure it's in the thousands, you know, like four or 5,000 people, you know, and not only does it get picked up and taken away, it gets shared. People pick it up, leave it on the table, the next person to come sit down will read it, so it gets shared over and over again too, so that's really cool. I kid you not, not exaggerating, every single person, I'm looking at every table, everyone's reading coffee news, like everyone. So what are your favorite parts about it? The lighter side is cool, the horoscopes are great, Everything's awesome in here. I like the horoscopes. That seems and to I be like the ads because my son has an ad in it. Oh, which one? Let's give him a plug. Got it in there. Look at that guitar instructor. If you had to like pick your top three favorite things about coffee news, what would they be? The horoscopes, the trivia, and the small jokes. Horoscopes. Do my. What are you? Libra. Ooh, we're the same. You need more time for personal pleasure and adventure. Your professional life can often consume far too much of your time and energy. That's absolutely 113% <laughs> correct. It is. You look like a guy who reads coffee news. You a horoscope guy? been with Coffee News for five years. Uh, when I first took over the business, uh, I was in a bit of a decline and of course starting out fresh I wanted to try and attract some new business uh, and that was to me one of the best things I think I ever could have done. I highly recommend the use of Coffee News, uh, for, especially for a smaller medium-sized business if you want to focus on your local area. It's uh, to me been a very very valuable tool for my business and attracting and keeping new customers. I find that it's very good value for my dollar. It's local, it's consistent. Uh, they did a good job on putting together the ads for me, uh, basically saying you know, where we are, who we are, what we do in a very simple form. And uh, I find it's been very, very successful. Oh, hey, we have to talk to that guy for sure. I don't even need to ask you, I can just tell by looking at you. You are a straight to the trivia guy. <laughs> I do go straight there, yeah. Are you? Would you call yourself a regular coffee news reader? Yes. It was Subway that got me going on the most. See? That's where I saw it. I'd pick it up every time and I'd read it while I had my sub. Second arm get tired. At, at this table right now, who would you say is the best at the trivia section in coffee news? This lady here. Have you ever uh, got them all correct? No. Did you know that I once um, went three years in a row, I got every single Coffee News trivia question right for three years in a row. 
Wow. Yeah. I never got uh, one right at all. But well, I would I would read the answers first. I found that 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 way I was way better at it. <laughs> Ask me one. Try me out. Fire, water, wood, earth, and metal are five elements of what? Five elements of feng shui. Yeah. I read it. I got here early. Would you prefer if I spoke with someone else right now? Fair enough. I think people like the coffee news because of the fact that it is something quick, simple. You can pick it up and review it quick, flip through the ads, uh, get a little chuckle out of the joke on it. Lots of people read the newspaper, but mostly people read the coffee news. When I read it, well, I usually look at the horoscope, then I look at the trivia questions to see how many things I don't know. <laughs> Here we are, 25 years on, turns out people still love their coffee and they love their coffee news. And print, it turns out, is alive and well and stronger than ever. So pick up your coffee news fresh every week. So there you have it. That was seven years ago. So things have changed quite a lot over the last five months, March, April, May, June, July, um, we have not, well, we were printing until April 6th. We plan to continue printing, but it may be a little different. We are going to be asking people to not leave the coffee news um, on the tables when they read them. Uh, when we do start printing, we want to make sure that everybody's safe. So please pick up that coffee news and enjoy it and take it home with you. It's yours, it's our gift to you, free of charge, courtesy of all of the advertisers who want to see your smiling faces when you say, I saw your business in the coffee news. So there's gonna be a lot of changes, but that's okay. Life would be pretty boring without the changes. So now, I'm going to start reading this week's coffee news. It is the coffee news for Monday, um, July 27th. And uh, I'm going to put my, my little guy on here again because he helps me with all of these. Um, he has several names, by the way. So if you want to suggest a name for the little guy, the little man, the coffee news man, that would be awesome. So here I'm gonna um, bring bring that guest link on again in case you're uh, interested in joining me today. And uh, let's bring up the coffee news so that we can read it together. All right, here we go. July 27th. Coffee news, everybody's talking. Hmm. Race to rent. When a vacant suite in an apartment building in Berlin, Germany went on the market, the response was an indication of the housing shortage in that city. Almost 1,800 hopeful renters lined up at the building to view the flat. People were interested because of the reasonable price of the two room accommodation. Rolf Harms, the property manager, had to use a megaphone to dole out instructions. And then 20 to 30 people were allowed in at the same time. In that country, similar apartment shortages are common in other large cities such as Hamburg, Munich, and Frankfurt. I know we're having the same, not, not lineups around the corner because of COVID, but it is definitely a challenge. Um, I just went through with my daughter to help her find uh, an apartment and it did take quite some time um, and many viewings. And 
so expensive for young people. Um, people just starting out, it's it's a challenge to get uh, to find a place that is um, that is uh, affordable and uh, and and I think the fun thing about that story is that I'm sure it happened before COVID, but. Um, we know that those places are out there and you just have to keep looking. So keep looking, keep smiling, and, uh, and here are some of our lovely patrons. Emily from Fresh Start Green Cleaning, if you need a cleaner. Um, fantastic job she does. Um, next uh, up is Urban Park. Now, the... I'm, I'm going to say ICSI, or I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, National Wetland Park in Hangzhou in China's Zhejiang province. Sure, I'm saying that wrong. If you, if you want to correct me, please, you know, leave me a, a voicemail or, uh, or a message, a voice message on how to say that properly. The unique park combines farming culture, and urban life, and is an area of tranquility with waterways to explore, as well as trails and boardwalks. Visitors can book a tour via the land route or the water route. Interesting sites in the park include plum trees and reed flowers, as well as the Port of the Dragon Boat Festival. As the paths are unmarked and complex, visitors are advised to be careful and not to get lost. So I actually did some research on this one and wow, what a beautiful park. Let me show you this. Isn't that gorgeous. I'm just going to fill the screen up with that because it's so beautiful. And that's one of the walk, one of the waterways. And they have boats. Whoops, that's the next story. Let me uh, put that down and find the next picture. Ah, okay. Yes, I missed that one. So there are quite a few pictures on the internet about that. And you can also take a virtual tour uh, with the on YouTube. So enjoy that. Absolutely. Let's go back to our coffee news here. And we want to give a shout out to uh, Cam at Kia of St. Catharines. Julie at Mind Over Clutter and Lisa at Claire's Cycle and Sports. Here's our next, our next story and everybody's talking. Rustic ramblings. Travelers to South America who want to go somewhere off the beaten track should try visiting Cabo Polonia, Uruguay located on the Atlantic coast and only a few hours from luxurious beach resorts, this isolated village attracts those who don't care about the comforts of a modern home. There is no electricity or running water in the rustic cottages and only a few people with generators have Wi-Fi but the people who live like there like it that way. Villagers use well or rainwater, and they cook by candlelight. The land is designated national park, is a designated national park, and is a beloved destination of backpackers. So I'm, let's see what that looks like here. It is very very remote. 
So it's so it's on a, a peninsula. Um, they're very tiny, but a lot of little shacks, little cottages. And uh, if you like the rustic life, a getaway with no interruptions, perhaps Uruguay is the place to go. All right. And we want to remember uh, to thank everybody who's voting for us in the 2020 Reader's Choice Awards. Um, I can only say that I'm grateful and I love to help small business, small to medium-sized businesses get the message out about their businesses. Okay, Rachel at uh, Mrs. Clean. And uh, if you're ever interested in hosting an international student, say next year, um, then that number is the number to call because uh, there are a lot of international students. Now we didn't have any this year, of course, but we do have them every year. And we're always looking for people to open up their homes who would like to uh, share the, a few weeks of their summer with an international student. It's great for the kids. And, and we'll have somebody on to talk about that uh, another day. Uh, again, Claire's and Claire's Harley Davidson are taking all the precautions for you and your motorcycle um, to be safe. And uh, let's read our next story. Everybody's talking. New friend. A man on a hike to raise money for men's health for a men's health found uh, found a new friend along the way. Max Adams was on a long trek in an area near High Prairie, Alberta, Canada, when on the side on a side road he could hear a loud meowing, which turned out to be a half-grown kitten sitting in the snowy branches of a tree. Adams took the desperate little feline with him because he couldn't imagine leaving it in such a long distance away from any homes. He tried to find the owner to no avail. After the kitten was tended to by a vet, Adams took it home as his own pet. So that's the little picture that we had up before. Let me show you this. There he is with his new best friend. Can you imagine way out in the wilderness finding a little tiny kitty? <laughs> That's one lucky kitten, I'll tell you. And he seems very happy about his, his new friend. So, yes. And your pets, we've talked about pets a lot. We've had Anita from the uh, uh, Pampered Kitty and Pooch on in a previous show. And uh, tell me about your pets. What are their names? Write in the comments. Uh, we want to have a conversation. And again, if, uh, if you're feeling kind of lonely still, and even with things opening up, you're still concerned about getting out, let's, uh, let's get together here and, and have a chat. Um, OK. So there's the link again if you do want to be a guest on the show. And let's see what's next. Well, of course, Jackie and J Jake at MSNR Plumbing and uh, Sunil Tulsiani giving us the gift of this wonderful book about how he made a lot of money uh, in real estate investing. Doug's quality needs, so Doug and uh, you got to go there, check out all the meats. And of course, Cassie at uh, Estate Sales Niagara. Auctions all the time if you want to find just the right thing for your home. Now, before I uh, go on to the quotes, I wanted to share something else with you. Um, this is a, a short testimonial from a uh, gentleman who. Uh, has been with the Coffee News for, been advertising with the Coffee News for a long time. And uh, he owns 
a generational um, furniture business. So here is our friend from Dorsey Family Furniture. Hi, I'm Todd Bollier, owner of Dorsey Furniture. We've used Coffee News for nearly 20 years. We use it statewide and as a piece of our advertising, go along with our TV and radio. It's been great for us. Now, of course, obviously, that was uh, from the United States. Coffee News is international and hyper-local. So if you have a furniture business in St. Catharines, Thorold, or Niagara-on-the-Lake, I would love to chat with you about what we can do for you. All right. And if you know somebody who has a furniture business, we'd love to help people who are moving because people, a lot of people are still moving. House across the street from me sold in 48 hours. So, all right. Let's go on to our quotes, our quotable quotes. Okay. And we still have 27 minutes left and we've got lots of stuff to go through. Um, okay. And, and lots of fun to have. And here we go. Quotable quotes. Once harm has been done, even a fool understands it. By Homer. That's an old quote. From Hesiod. He harms himself who does not, sorry, he harms himself who does harm to another and the evil plan is most harmful to the planner. Isn't that true? Okay, so what are your favorite quotes? Do you have, uh, do you have a favorite quote? Please share it with us in the comments. And if you're watching the replay, I'll catch that comment and uh, and respond as well. So make sure you um, you can also catch up on all the previous uh, e editions of Coffee News Live on YouTube. And I believe if all things are going well, we should be streaming live to YouTube right now. I'm hoping that's working out. I don't. No, but uh, yes, apparently we are streaming live to, uh, to YouTube and Facebook. So that's wonderful. You can watch all of our um, back episodes. As far as I can see, we're not going to be stopping. So I'm here for the long haul and the relaxing time that it gives me to just start my day in the middle of the week with some friendly faces. Even though I don't see yours, um, I do see lots of friends in the comments. So yeah, share that you're here with me. All right, let's go to our next set. So Maggie from A&M Designs and Decor, uh, Jerry from Pine Ridge Tree Services, Oh, we got Emily in there again. I'll have to check that, but that's okay. Emily's awesome. And Angela and Dr. Lee at Pine Street Dental. Make sure you don't leave it too late. It's already been four or five months that we hadn't been able to take care of our teeth. Make sure you book an appointment now that they're they're open. They're very safe. I've been there with my daughter. Um, very safe environment and uh, call and book an appointment with Angela and her team. Pine Street Dental, the best, if especially if you uh, don't like dentists. They're really nice people and they're very, very good. 
Okay, our what's happening? A lot of them uh, coming up really quick, like next week. Um, of course, we have business networking organization uh, that meets every Thursday morning on Zoom at 7 a.m. So tomorrow morning, bright and squirrely. If you would like to be a uh, guest at this networking event, then please um, call that phone number and register to attend. Then we have the Niagara Pump House uh, reopening renovation tour. Make sure you book your time to go see that and all that they've been doing. I think anybody in the area that knows about the Pump House, if you've driven past it in the last two years, they have been doing a lot of renovations. Uh, okay, niagarapumphouse.ca. I'm going to put that right in the in the comments here. I don't know what I did there. Yeah, I think I clicked on it. So it's, now my computer's going to take its time to adjust to what I just did. Okay. Well, I'm hoping. Oh, it's not going to do it. All right. I will make sure that's in the comments for everybody to see. And now we have the autism, or not autism, my apologies, um, the Alzheimer's organization that is doing a lot of work for people with early onset dementia. Uh, there's a group for the partners and caregivers of people with early onset dementia. So that's on August 5th. August 6th, they are also running a Zoom practice for people to uh, get the hang of how to do things on Zoom. And options for care on August 12th. If you have, or if you're part of an organization that have things going on online or uh, any other way, please let us know if you need to get the word out. Uh, I'm happy to help with fundraising, any not-for-profit organization or events that are going on to keep people encouraged and happy and living life in a positive way. Uh, Long-term care transitional self-help. So that's, again, the alzheimersniagara.ca. And uh, so there's a lot going on. And I'm sure there's a lot that I don't know about, but I'm sure the other locations, um, I, I should look into some of the other uh, places that have the local calendars and uh, see if we can get some people on from like Niagara 411 and from Snapped and from all those other wonderful resources we have here in Niagara that keep us on the ball. So to Roberta at uh, Edible Arrangements, who keeps me in fruit. I love my fruit. And, uh, and, and Nita at uh, Pampered Kitty and Pooch. And Chris at uh, Primerica will help take care of all your, um, even if you only have like $25 to put away uh, a month. That's, you can you do some mutual funds. You can do something. You don't have to have a ton of money. If you want to start saving for the future and for times that are not as easy, um, then this is uh, who you want to get in touch with, Chris Hanlon. Um, and he is trained to help you. All right. Let's get to our trivia. What is meant by curb weight in a vehicle? What is meant by curb weight in a vehicle? Now, that's question one. If you know the answer, type it in to the comments because we do give away some really awesome prizes for people who find the little guy in one of the ads who are able to answer all the trivia questions. 
uh, in the comments and uh, who send us their selfies. And even though you don't have a, a physical copy of the coffee news, um, just send us your happy smile and uh, you can do that to our email that's on the website. Second trivia question. What is a type of Japanese drama where actors wear masks? Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see if anybody knows it. Keep those comments coming. <laughs> Trivia question number three, bubble wrap, one of my favorite things. Bubble wrap was invented in 1940s or 1950s? If you know the answer, pop it in those uh, comments. Even on the replays, if somebody hasn't gotten the all the answers in, in the live show, like this morning, then feel free to put them in. Um, in the comments on the replay and you could win so don't give up christian dior rose to fame in what area of expertise that's trivia question number four what is another name for the northern lights another name for the Northern Lights. And if you've ever seen them in person, where were you? How far north? Just tell us in the comments and, and share. All right, I wanna say uh, Tammy from Tender Wishes will be joining us on a future show. Also Jack from JNL Flooring and Julie from Stone Road Pharmacy. So these are all fabulous people who are there for you when you need them. All right. Don't forget, you've got your games here. Uh, Word 5. What games do you like playing? I, uh, I posted uh, on our Facebook page about, you know, what, is, what are people's favorite games? I, people answered some games that I've never even heard of. So if, uh, if you're looking for something new to do, you can go find that, uh, that post and, uh, and just ask your friends. Post on your own uh, pages. What's your favorite game? Okay, and Sue from Earth Angel. And this space is reserved for one of our favorite clients, which I have to go back down and up again. Oh, come on. This is <laughs> and maybe I can bring up a little bit of what they do. So the river 105.1 FM and its sister station. I'm going to uh, screen share a little bit of this because this is the station I listen to when I am puttering around the office. Um, so let's, uh, is that the one? No, that's not it. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. This is their, their listen online and uh, so I'm going to minimize that and show this one. This is where you just hit the, hit the play button. And, well, I don't know that you'll be able to hear it. Let me, let me do something different here. So when I share the screen, this is a great little, um, okay, let see oh it's this one this one here let's share that and let's drop in on 105.1 the river and see what's playing Shorty, so 
And you can rate your favorite song. And also, I really enjoy the John Tesh um, part of it. It's always really interesting information. So I'm going to go back to our there and get rid of that and show this. So there's Sister Station 101.5, I think it is. Uh, the Riv uh, Moore FM is the other station. I don't know why it's coming. It's not showing up there. Maybe sometimes I have to go past it and go back. But no, it does show up normally. Uh, it's just giving me some, tr there it is. Okay. Let's see. There we go. The river 101.1 more FM that has seventies, eighties and nineties. The river has more uh, recent music, both great stations for you to listen to in the office or in your home office. Okay, did you know our next section of the coffee news? With 13 minutes to go. Yay. The first man to make it to South Pole was Norwegian Roald Amundsen, 1872-1928. A team of men, dogs, and dog sleds journeyed from the base camp in Antarctica reaching the pole in just under two months. That was quite, an, uh, quite a feat. Pick a pair. Did you know Anjou pears are mild flavored and soft, making them easy to eat. Abate pears are good to eat with cheese because they are fragrant and crispy. Yesterday, I'm driving around Niagara on the lake. The peaches are out, people. The peaches are out. They're there. Go get them. Roadside uh, huts are, are there. Um, you want to stock up on local fruit. Fantastic. Skin bumps. Did you know? Moles occur when skin cells called melanocytes grow. Babies can be born with moles that are called congenital nevi, while their moles, while other moles develop over a person's lifetime. Expensive painting. A 1941 Pablo Picasso painting from his Weeping Woman series, sold for $9.1 million Canadian. One painting. At an auction house in Toronto in 2019, the painting of photographer Dora Marr is called Femme au Chapeau. I have not looked that one up, but I will, because it sounds interesting. Writer and pilot. Did you know? Many people are aware of British author Roald Dahl's many famous children's books, such as Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, The Witches, and The Witches. But they may not know that he was a fighter pilot in World War II. I did not know that. Michael at Wright Pools, you want to give them a call? Plan your pool for next year or take care of the one you've got this year. Um, Millie and Henry at Agua Fresca and Darcy, of course, at Darcy Richardson, Revel Real Estate, always treating your business as if it was her own your transaction as if it was her own transaction. She takes care of you. And Chris from Into Service will help purge all those brick 
areas that need helping and take care of all your wet basements and, and with the rain that we've been having, some people might be having some problems. Chris will take care of you. Make sure you give him a call. On the lighter side, have we got something else here? Have we got, oh, no, but I am going to take this opportunity just, actually, I'll do it after the lighter side because the lighter side is so much fun all the time. I want to thank you again for joining me today and in the replay. I have so much fun, and today, we had some guests that couldn't make it. Don't know whether it was partly due to the power outage, but um, you know, it's really nice having this opportunity to chat with everybody. We have eight minutes left and we're going to use it wisely. Um, on the lighter side, why is abbreviation such a long word? Maybe there's some teachers out there or linguists who can answer that question. Can you name three consecutive days without using the words Wednesday, Friday, or Sunday? Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Trick question, right? What do you call a boomerang that doesn't work? A stick. Maybe they should call these the dad bad dad joke section instead of on the lighter side. You can also um, find a lot of these on our social media because we do post them regularly and they're all different. Hopefully, try to make them all different. <laughs> Customer, these melons are a dollar fifty. Did you raise them yourself? Farmer. Yes, yesterday they were $1.25. Why did the dinosaur cross the road? Because chickens weren't around yet. You know what? I have a feeling that something glitched there, and I want to make sure. So for one of the other Coffee News publishers, I'm going to go check his um page because he's awesome but these are all Winnipeg and let's see if we've got on the lighter side yep something glitched on my page so let's do this again more on the lighter side how many cats can you put into an empty box one after that the box isn't empty anymore I am reading a terrific interesting book about anti-gravity. I just can't put it down. Census taker. How many employees work in your factory? Business owner. Oh, I'd say about half of them. <laughs> Why do they report power outages on TV? Good question. Good question. <laughs> How do you create light by using water? Clean your windows. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Coffee News is always there when you need it. And so is Santino from Impact Promotions. If you've got a small business uh, or you need business cards or you need signs for, you know, welcoming back your customers, he's the guy to go to. Rachel, of course, from Bear Cleaning Essentials and Haven and Vivin from Haven Dentures. Uh, let them take care of your uh, denture needs. So I want to remind everybody, while we have a little bit of time here, to subscribe to both our YouTube channel and the Coffee News YouTube channel and the uh, Coffee News pub, uh, printed edition. It's a, the PDF files that will be printed. If you want to subscribe to Coffee News, you can do it on our, our page here. Uh, I'm going to open this up a bit and see if those uh, there. When you go to the website, there are areas to enter in your name and your email address. Also, 
please like us on Facebook and uh, and enjoy us there. Okay. Primerica, again, offering free financial needs assessments. If you have been going through a financial crisis at this time um, with COVID and you just need to get a good picture of what your finances are, uh, call Chris and he'll help you out with a free financial needs assessment. How can you support? How can we support each other? 97% of all businesses in Niagara are small to micro businesses. And so we are all each other's businesses, uh, clients, right? So um, visit the advertisers of the Coffee News, um, browse the website because we have all of our advertisers there and like us on Facebook. And I also wanna mention Will, uh, William Smith, famous name, famous realtor in our area. He is doing gangbusters in the city um, and looking for people who are looking to buy. So if you're needing to move, he's your guy. And the River Lions had their first game. I can't wait to get uh, on with Michelle again and have her on the show. And hopefully we'll find out uh, all the things that went on and how it's going to move forward. So, Michelle, if you're watching, give me a call um, if uh, I don't call you first. All right. So I'm going to uh, finish things up here by thanking everybody for joining me and thanking for those people on the replay. Um, on the replay, you can still enjoy your coffee. Tell me where you're from. Answer the trivia questions. This is an interactive show, so you are a part of it. I'm going to put that link uh, up again if you want to be a guest and you want to drop in. I'd be delighted to interview you if you have a business or if you have a shout-out to somebody who has an anniversary or um, a, a, a new baby. If you, you know, just... We've been um, so claustrophobic for the last five months. Um, we can do so much and supporting each other. So share your favorite quotes, your answers to the trivia, um, your favorite authors, what books are you reading? So many things. Your favorite games. Tell me what game you like. All right. And uh, now... Here we go with is news to enjoy over coffee the world's largest weekly publication offering exclusive affordable local advertising a successful and unique publication designed by marketing experts that connects locals with locals and stands out from the crowd readers love coffee news and become loyal consumers because it is refreshing fun and entertaining research tells us that locals buy from locals coffee news is an active marketing medium developed to take advantage of this for you Every week, we deliver to and connect with this receptive local audience promoting your business, positioning it where you want it, in the minds of consumers to influence their buying habits in your favor, which can increase visibility, customers, and revenue for your business. All for an affordable price that includes exclusivity in your local edition, high visibility, strategic distribution to a targeted and receptive audience, professional artwork, the weekly repetition required to influence buying habits. But we don't leave it there. We give you a lockout your competitor guarantee. With only 32 ads in each edition, check with your local publisher for availability and local details. And be quick to reserve your business category. You might call this fantastic value for money. We call it Coffee News.
Well, that's my shameless plug. And it uh, looks like I've lost one of my cameras. So let's see what's going on here. There we go. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, I've had a wonderful morning and our time is up. That's what happened because our time is up. Okay. Well, thanks again for joining me. And uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> and here we go. Here's our credits. And see you next week.